Hello! Today I would like to talk about something really exciting. It is lesbian speed dating. Yes, if you have not done it before, you should definitely try it out. If you identify as a man, maybe don't go to lesbian speed dating. Speed dating in general is something crazy because you have two minutes to talk to a person, you have like an elevator pitch every time you see somebody about 15 to 20 times in one night. It's exhausting. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. If you have straight speed dating, it's a little bit easier because, you know, everyone basically moves and you can see all the men move to the left, all the women move to the right and then so you go in the circle. But if you have lesbians, you have only lesbians to move around. Nobody knows where to move. It's really difficult to be under control, you know. I was asked to host a speed dating. I'm very strict with speed dating. But you have to keep them under control and if you don't look in one minute, one lesbian is sitting on the wrong chair. <laughs> it's very, very dangerous. Sometimes lesbians come in groups. Lesbian? Lesbians. Sometimes lesbians come... Lesbians come... Les this is a difficult sentence. Some, sometimes lesbians come in groups. So this is it. Sometimes lesbians come in... Shit, I didn't get it. Sometimes lesbians come in groups. So sometimes lesbians come in groups. And then sometimes a lesbian is missing. Where did the lesbian go? Oh, she went up smoking. Well, you can't go smoking if we are dating now, right? They have only two minutes. When two minutes are over, they have to move on. Some don't move on. Some sit and continue talking. This is not fun to talk. We have an agenda to fulfill. We have to talk to everyone. So then I thought, oh, they have not talked to each other. So where do we sit the other one? But then they did talk to each other. So we need to get them moving to not make a traffic jam here. And some, they move their chairs, yeah? They normally sit opposite of each other, but then, you know, you, you sit them down opposite of each other in a line, and then you turn away, and the second you turn back, they have moved the chair next to each other. No wonder they move in on the second date, because on the first date, they already almost sit on each other. Sometimes you have that where two people don't want to talk with each other. They just sit opposite of each other and are silent. They're, they're like little kids who fight and don't want to talk to each other anymore. Or like politicians. Some lesbians can be really angry and there is nothing worse than an angry lesbian. I know that because I can be one sometimes. <laughs> it is really more stressful, I think, than any comedy gig I've done because you have just to control over 30 lesbians who are about to date and drinking wines. If you happen to come to one of my events in London, just make sure you don't go smoking before the break, yeah. Otherwise, you will give me more grey hair. It's, it's from the last one. I got like three grey hairs from the last event. So treat me gentle. <laughs> My German rules get all overthrown. Overthrown. Game of Thrones. Weird. Have a lovely weekend. Weekend? No. What do we have today? Have a lovely week. <laughs> or weekend, whatever you make out of the days, of your days. And I will see you next week. Happy dating! Yeah! Why do I do a dating vlog? It's not January yet. January, February. I am so confused. See, and I've not been drinking for a while and I'm getting more and more confused. I think I will start drinking tonight again. <laughs> Have a lovely day and see you soon. Bye!